Have you ever worked with tablets whose weight and hardness fluctuate? Would you like to find some effective solutions for handling challenging powders? When the issue is weight instability, the first step is to work on the feeder system. Did you know that the paddles installed inside the dye feeder perform different functions? The paddle on the left is responsible for dye loading, whereas the paddle on the right generally completes dye filling by scraping off any excess powder and putting it back inside the feeder. Choosing the right paddle shape is therefore important. For example, with a lactose monohydrate-based powder with very poor flowability, I succeeded in reducing a relative standard deviation on tablet weight of 1.5% to 0.3%, simply by changing the paddle geometry. And what if the weight and thickness are stable, but the hardness varies? Have you ever tried adjusting the upper punch penetration? If the tablet is formed deeper in the die, for example at 5 stroke 5.5 millimeters due to the penetration of the upper punch, the force applied is spread equally between the upper and lower punches, which creates an even powder bed densification all over the tablet. The result? A stronger tablet and lower relative standard deviation. Trust me.